Hello, my Spores. As I said, I'm doing a lot more videos in regards to um, my ministry and um, my business, including um, talking about properties and talking about faith and just releasing messages as I get them from God and just um, keep you guys updated in my day-to-day -day life and just encouraging you guys to keep the faith as we go on to live in this messed up world it has become so messed up so my message is guys last year i had a dream that has not left my mind and the other day when i was speaking to god like we were having like a conversation and i was like I don't know what's going on with my life. I don't know why I'm going through this warfare after warfare after warfare and you're not listening. You're not you're not paying attention to me. And you know, it came to me that I've given you a work to do. I've given you something to say, message to deliver and you have not been doing it. And it keep that dreams not leaving my mind, not leaving my mind. I'm like, God, is it time for me to release it? Was I supposed to release it a long time ago and I've not released it? And I've been fighting with it because honestly, I've I was having a lot of vision, a lot of vision. And the devil started to play tricks in my mind where I started to think, probably this is all in my head. Probably this is not from God probably it's just dreams that I'm having in and I do not want to lead his people astray I do not want to leave his people lead his people astray and that's one of the other reason too why I stopped doing YouTube I didn't want it to feel like I'm leading anyone astray I've been going on TikTok and I've been seeing messages and I've been have seen people that make this ministry this encouraging or just talking about god or this prophetic thing um a business where it's all about making money it's all about getting getting stars or whatever that they give you on i don't know if they do that on youtube but i do know that they do it on on um tiktok and I don't want to be a false prophet. I do not want to lead people astray because I know where I want to go and I don't want anyone's sins on my shoulder. So it was, I started to pull back myself because I don't want to be that person. And God is like, well, I give you a mission and you need to see it through. So my vision, and I just want to get through get to it right now so the vision that I had a couple years ago that I held on and did not um, release was that I dreamt war in Canada I should it, there was war I saw like um, there was a lot of planes that was coming in war planes that was coming in and I noticed that there was um, Holy Spirit there was Chinese and there was Indians and they were all, were all soldiers and they were fighting in the hair against Canadians on Canada soil they were fighting um, the Canadian armies and they were just fighting 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 and there they were trying their best not to attack civilians I could say that because as I saw it we were running and we were running and we were hiding and I noticed that they weren't trying to attack civilians, they were trying to attack all the soldiers. So there is going to be a war. I don't know if it's going to, if it's a war from Russia that, that's going to spill over into Canada, but I dreamt, I got a vision. I'm not gonna say dream. I believe my vision because it keeps replaying and replaying and replaying in my mind that there is going to be a war on Canadian soil and there is going to be Chinese soldiers I don't know the difference between China Korea Japanese but 
they look like Chinese. And those are the soldiers and Indians. Soldier. And there is going to be people confused, running. Some civilians are going to get hurt. I don't know how much. But we need to be prepared and to stay safe as civilians and just pray and just pray and just pray and just pray and just pray. And just pray. That's all I can say, just pray, because it's going to happen. I can't say pray to not allow it to happen. It's going to happen. God's words needs to be fulfilled. He wants to get his message out to his people. And his message is for us to be prepared. There is going to be war when I don't know. But I am given this message. I have this dream. I would say it was somewhere between last November, December of 2022. And I really didn't want it to release it because I don't want to feel like I'm um, scaring people or um, leading people astray or whatever it is and I've been praying about it and I've been going through as I said some warfares and I'm like God you have been silent on me and the only time you spoke to me twice since I said you've been silent on me and one of it is that you're not doing my work you're not doing my work I, guys I I get jobs I haven't been working and I applied for jobs and I lost my job in three weeks three weeks three weeks I just couldn't understand why I just couldn't understand why and it's like he said I employed you to work to carry my message that is your main purpose and you're not doing it and I give you a message to give my people and you're holding it up hostage for yourself so I'm like God is it time for me to release it and it's been on my mind for the last two weeks and I decided you know what I'm gonna start up about my YouTube I'm gonna be obedient this morning I wake up with fire <laughs> every morning I wake up to negative things negative things negative things just negative emails negative things <laughs> like negative things when I check my account just oh, barely brinking it and it's like God what 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 is it what is it and it's like you're not releasing my messages you're not doing what your purpose really is you're asking me what your purpose is but you're not doing what it is so be prepared I don't know I honestly don't know when it's going to happen but it probably is going to happen sooner than later and we just need to be prepared because there's going to be war there's going to be war there's going to be war we sit and watch and see what's going on in other countries people running for their life and we are going about our daily life like nothing in Canada, in the States, in the UK, as as nothing. But our time isn't our time is coming soon. It is coming soon. It is coming soon. Cause we haven't been our mind has been conformed to the world. And he God has enough. He has enough of it enough of our excuses and if it enough of us trying to please man it's time for us to go down on our knees and start praying start trusting god start believing in him start worshiping worshiping in him and not man and listen and listen and listen and listen and read our bible a lot of us aren't reading our bibles and because of that we're, we've been led astray by a lot of um, prophets, by the government, and by the media. And it's time for us to start reading our Bibles, asking God for understanding, asking Him for wisdom, and start tr putting our trust in Him. It's not here to harm us. 
he's here to make us prosperous but there's going to be war people are going to be running for their lives people are going to lose children we're gonna lose sons we're gonna lose daughters we're gonna lose husbands we're gonna lose wife uncles aunts because we're not prepared we're not prepared I saw Chinese and I saw Indians and they're going to war against Canada for what I do not know and releasing this message right now make me feel so emotional because I held it for almost a year inside of me because of fear God said he has not given me the spirit of fear but of love and a sound mind and as I always said there's 365 fear not in the Bible so I don't know why I was fearful I just want to I just don't want to be misjudged or feel like I'm misleading anyone but I need to get the message across because this is my purpose if this is the only message that he gave me or given me to get across I just want to get it across be prepared be prepared how we're going to work and how we're just going to the grocery just doing daily thing without giving thankful for the day and at the end of the night not being thankful to say I have a safe and productive day it's not going to be like this for too long it won't be like this for too long it's time for us to start seeking God Canada you need to wake up Canada you need to wake up there is going to be war on your soil I don't know the government should know what's going on between China what's going on between the between the Indians because they those planes were the planes that was targeting the Canadian soldiers and civilians was running for their life not knowing what to do it happened in broad daylight when people was going and coming and just doing what we normally do we didn't expect it but the Indians and the kin the Indians and the um, Chinese people planned it they had it all planned and they were on our swell fighting for what I do not know they were fighting for something that I do not I'm not aware of but only aware that we I need to let these people know that they need to be vigilant they need to be prepared and they need to know what's going on around their surrounding I, I don't want to be for too long please share my video like if you guys need to test it test the spirit pray about it and ask God to reveal or give you some understanding about this message hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month see you in my next video